So I want you to take note of the season in which we're in. And right now we are in winter, right? And the seasons play a big role in our lives, right? And oftentimes as an English teacher, I discuss seasons as it pertains to literature. But right now I want to speak to you as a confidence coach for women and how seasons affect our lives. And winter and the offset of it, there is snow and there's coldness and there's darkness. I put on my winter colors for you as well, right? Uh, because it's easy to get like sad or depressed or, you know, just not be your normal self sometimes during this particular season, just because symbolically winter does mean death, right? All of the trees and stuff, the leaves are gone. It's death. It's very white. It's snow. It's cold. You might feel limited. You might feel like you cannot go out. You got a shovel. It's just, ugh. it can seem like a hassle. Some people love winter and they cool. Some people are like, oh, I got my winter white. I love snow. Cool. Do what you do. Most people don't like the cold, but a lot of people do. Okay. But what I want you to take away from this is that our lives work also as seasons. Marriages have seasons. Some people's marriages might be in winter right now. And you're looking at them like, mm, but it's not always going to be summer. The same is true in your actual life. It ain't always going to be spring and rebirth and blossoming. It ain't always going to be that way. So things I want you to remember about winter, winter, even though it is darkness, and this is to prevent you because some people do get depression during the season. Some people also get sad, seasonal affective disorder because of the change in the season, right? And, and if that's you, you obviously want to seek a mental health professional to support you on that journey. Um, but for everyone else, I want you to remember this about winter. Winter, that winter signifies rest and reflection. So capitalize off of that because in these nine, first 90 days of the year, once these 90 days are over, we're going to be in spring where you can spring clean and you can blossom and you can grow and you can be reborn and it's a new beginning. Think about bunnies. Think about flowers, right? Think about even Jesus Christ, Easter, resurrection, rebirth. So for right now, capitalize off this time. If you're feeling tired, Take a nap, take rest. You are constantly on the move and running around. Utilize this time. Take care of yourself and rest and practice self-care is my first thing. Rest. Second is reflect. If you didn't get the 2019 Fierce Dream Life Planner, girl, stop playing. Or whatever year you're watching this, go get the planner from Alicia Fierce, right? That you can use to reflect. If you want to use a different method, cool. But make sure you're in a place of reflection. If you need additional support, get you a therapist, get you a counselor, get you a coach, get you a trusted friend or some girlfriends and go out and sit down and just talk and just discuss. But utilize this time to rest and to reflect and also to reposition because once you're repositioning, so if you have a business and you are working on a new project, you can keep it under wraps. You don't got to post everything. Keep it under wraps, do your thing, and then release it and unleash it and have your new beginnings once we get to spring. But try to capitalize off of the energy and the momentum and see it as a positive thing that you can rest more and you can store up energy so that once spring and summer roll around, honey, you can be out here doing your thing. So start positioning things. Start booking those vacations, right? Start booking those speaking opportunities. Start getting those finances in order, right? Start getting yourself ready to get back out and date again. Like get those ducks in orders. Utilize the darkness, right? Utilize the rest, the reflection, and the coldness to position yourself so that when new beginnings pop around and it's time for adventure and fun, your finances, they're in order, right? Why? Because you've been spending the first three to six months using that energy of rest and reflection of where has my money been going? Have I been saving? Have I been investing? Have I been, you know, tracking what I have? Utilize this time because what happens in the darkness? What always comes to the light, right? So you want to use this time to your advantage so that next season you can come out in a different way. Now, granted, God can be like, you know what? You might have winter again in a different season, right? Because ultimately God really determines seasonally how things are flowing and going. However, there is still a universal energy that's out there based on how these seasons are broken down. So again, remember, tap into the rest, tap into the reflection, and see how what you can reposition during this time period so that when it gets to the next season or two, you're ready to rise up.
you're ready to you're ready to resurrect. It's time for the rebirth, right? It's time for you to come out ready because you took the time to plan and position yourself in a positive way when others were like, oh, this too much. I don't like this weather, right? Use your time, right? So that you can shine and you can glow and that you can do your thing in the seasons that are to come. But that don't mean you can't do your thing now. But just keep that in mind, right? Capitalize off the energy of those seasons and also think about the different areas of your life. What season am I in? Especially relationships. What season are we in right now? And remember that seasons are temporary because what well, winter, the darkness is temporary and the lightness is coming. And if you're in the lightness, there could be a darkness that's coming or approaching, but always know that that things are always shifting, evolving, and changing, and that you're ultimately always having some control. Life doesn't just happen to you, right? You respond. It's really how you respond to the things that are occurring. So how are you responding to the coldness and the darkness of the now, of this current season and place that we're in? And if you are in a a metaphorical winter and it, and it's not necessarily literally the season of winter because it could be July and you can be in a winter season of darkness, right? And coldness just from events happening in your life. The same wisdom that I'm sharing is still applies to that season. Rest and reflect and create your plan and take action to reposition and store up energy and get yourself moving so that you can come back swinging in a positive way.